Hey, Todd here with uh, HowToMakeAFanPage.com. I'm making a quick video to show you how to load the code that I provide for you actually in a uh, post that I did on my personal blog at SagaciousNews.com called Removing Facebook iframe Scroll Bars <clears throat> an Adventure. Um, because it was an adventure for me because when I first started doing the iframe uh, templates, uh, I ran into a big snag where I, I built the template, everything worked good, uh, I loaded it up to Facebook and I kept having these side scroll bars and a scroll bar down around the bottom and I couldn't get rid of it. It took me three days to try to figure out what the problem was. I finally reached out to uh, a fellow iframer and uh, he actually went out and found this code. Uh, which has been flawless and it is a little different than a lot of the other code uh, or a little bit different than a lot of the other code that you'll find out there that will say uh, this is what you need to do to remove the iframe uh, scroll bars and uh, believe me I tried all of those different pieces of code and methods that <clears throat> I found out there that were you know basically telling you that this is what you needed to do to get rid of the scroll bars and it was going to be no big deal but it, it it did turn into a big deal and the result basically was um maybe a foolproof proof way of removing them so real simply all i'm going to do is just highlight the code that is left uh, that is inside of the uh, post that i did and i am going to copy it and I am going to pull up Composer, which uh, I have that is free software. There's a link to it in the um, tutorial that I have on how to make a fanpage.com. And all I'm going to do is just go and create a new tab. So there's a brand new tab just popped up here. And I am going to go into source first see how Composer actually <clears throat> creates all of these tags for you automatically. You're going to go ahead and highlight those and delete them. And then I'm going to paste the code that I just pulled off of the post at sagaciousnews.com and just uh, paste it in there. And you can see all of the HTML and the body tags are, are there. And then I'll show you how easy it is to just go ahead and insert uh, the other code right here. <clears throat> also, you're going to see when I hit design and then come back it kind of scrunches stuff up so you just gotta kind of be able to go in there and see well here's the insert your page, page code here and um, first let me go grab it what I'm going to put in there and I'm just going to go to another uh, template that I've created and this is one that uh, is going to be available for you in the template uh, program free template program that allows you to put uh, as many different videos and from as many different video sites as you want. You can go to YouTube and Vimeo and Vidler and all the other ones and just pull the code in and drop it right in this temp template and, um, and utilize it to show off or highlight uh, as many videos as you want. But I'm going to go in and grab the source code from that and that's just going to be from this center tag to that center tag, which is how I'm bringing all of those uh, frames, <coughs> div styles, into the center of the page. And here I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to go back to design. And here I'm going to go into my untitled, the brand new tab I just made, <coughs> and hit source. And I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to get rid of this insert your page code here and just paste what I just pulled off there and that's it that's just that simple if I go back to design there is the page that I've created so now I have two tabs and all it's doing is pulling off the title uh, from the YouTube video the first YouTube video that it finds that's why it has the same title as that <clears throat> up here in the tab uh, but it's just that simple so and if you go to the top of the page here here is the code that I've inserted that's going to keep you from having those scroll bars. 
so I'm just going to leave it right here. Trust me when you uh, save this and if you go into the tutorial program and sign up for it at howtomakeafanpage.com <clears throat> the link is going to be right at the bottom of this uh, video uh, in the description. You just go ahead and follow that. Sign up for the class. It's free. I'm adding at least a tutorial to it a week and it just gets more powerful all the time but it is a very uh, I think thorough way, uh, method and everything is in there about how to set, set your iframe stuff up on your Facebook fan pages from ground zero and utilize the templates that I'm providing for you and I'm also showing you exactly how to move stuff around and create your own very customized templates. So I'll see you in the next video.